we are the Kodwa tribe. Well, the first thing you notice about a Kodwa is the attire. So let's start with the attire. What I'm wearing is called as the Kupya Chale. Kupya represents the black robe that I'm wearing and the Chale is the red wrap around. Well, in history, we have been hunters. Uh, we are uh, from the state of Karnataka, the Western Ghats, a small district called Kodagu, also called as the Scotland of India. And we are the native tribes of Kodagu. Coming to the attire, the black robe is our ceremonial attire where we wear it during our festivals, our weddings, etc. Apart from this, we also have the white robe. The white robe, we, we generally wear it when we visit our temples. And the other time we wear the white robe is when we are a, we are a bridegroom. You know, when we are marrying, the bridegroom wears the white robe. We also have a green robe. In the past, we were hunters. So we always wore green robe when we went hunting. And we are also farmers. We live on farming. Uh, while we are doing agriculture activities, we wear the brown robe. So that's about our attire. You also see some, some weaponries which I'm wearing, which are primary to all Kodwas. We have the small dragger, which is called as the Piche Kati. And we have a bigger one, which is a machete, which is called as the Odikati. So this is the Odikati and this is the Piche Kati. Coming to our art forms, we have various uh, art forms. We have, we have various dances, which is called as the art, and we have various songs, which is called as the part. Generally, we perform as an offering to our gods. We are nature worshippers and ancestor worshippers. Though we worship our Kula Devata is River Kaveri, Matai Kaveri is our Kula Devata, which is again water. And Iggu Tapa is our Deva. Iggu means rice. De uh, Iggu Tapa means Tapa is the person who gives us the rice. So again, that is nature. So we are nature worshippers. So as offerings to our gods, as I told you, we give our art and part. One of the art form is called as the coal art. I'll give you more information once the coal art performance is done. So let's welcome our team to perform coal art. Thank you. 
Puttari is our harvest festival and it brings in a lot of joy. You know, you have your harvest festival like you have Pongal, which is your harvest festival. We have Puttari. It brings in a lot of joy because you have a lot of family coming in. You have so much of happiness. Your new harvest is here. You worship, you celebrate. So while we are celebrating, we also offer to our gods and we offer a dance. This is one of the dance which we perform at our mandir, which is the place of gathering and we perform it to our gods. So this dance form, which is a kolata, signified happiness during our festival, the harvest festival, Puttari. So the next performance is called as the Bhatte party. So Bhatte means your way or you know it's your route and the part is song so the route is when you're traveling right so olden days you're traveling only in the forest and when you're traveling in the forest you need to you, you need some energy you know it just can't be walking without energy so we these days we have a lot of music that we listen to uh, you have a lot of technology which can entertain you 
Well, those days we had to entertain ourselves. So when we were traveling long distance, we would sing. So what would we, what would we sing? Kodavas has told our nature worshippers. So we sing the nature. We sing what we see. We see the tree, we see the birds, we see the animals. We see our uh, co-passengers who are traveling with us. Uh, we know a little bit of their history, so we sing about that. We see an ant to an elephant, we sing it. So now, I would request my team to kindly come and perform the Bhatte Bhatte. Kodawas being the warrior clan, the warrior race, and I did say we have two primary weaponries, the Pichikati and the Varikati. Well, we have another weapon which is even more auspicious to both of this, and that's our gun. In the whole world, Kodawa tribes are the only tribes who can own a gun without a license. We do not need a license to own a gun. All we need is a NOC, which is a no objection certificate from the district administration, and we are free to own any number of guns. Guns such as 12 bore or 0.22 and air rifles. Of course, in India, we can't you know, own uh, modern guns. But 12 bore, 22 air, air, air rifles, pistols, 
we do not need a license. Reason why is because gun is, without a gun, there is no kodwa. Gun plays a huge role in the life and death of a kodwa. When there is a birth in a kodwa family, if it's a boy, the first thing we do is we fire a shot in the air. And when there is a death in the family, we fire two shots in the air. Our festivals, maybe Puttari, Kailpod, any festival, the first thing we worship is our gun. If there is a housewarming, we fire a shot. The ancestors had access to guns even before it was introduced in, uh, in many kingdoms. Which is why gun is supreme to us. Every household you'll find will have at least a gun, at least one gun. All right, so that's a little bit on our gun culture. Coming to our next performance, this is also another dance performance which is an offering to the gods. So we use a lot of props when we are uh, dancing. So you just witnessed the coal art which had the coal. Like uh, we also have other performances which we have. We use our weaponries uh, while we actually perform. But the next performance is Bolkkaat. Bolk is the lamp, a light. Where do you light the lamp? Is in our temples. So, can we carry weaponries to temples? No. So, we have a chauri which signifies peace, worship, our, uh, you know, faith towards the God. And we perform Bolakata. While we are performing Bolakata, we, we name, name all the gods that we worship, we believe in. From Matai, Kaveri, Igutapa, we have uh, the Badrakali. We have the Baiturappa, we have the Palurappa. We name each god when we are performing this art form because we are offering this art form to each of these gods. So having said that, let's welcome our team to perform Bolkat.
All right, so the Kodwa tribes, where are we from? We are from Karnataka, the Western Ghats, uh, a small district called uh, Kodagu. It's also called as the Scotland of India. The first thing what you notice about our tribe is our attire. The attire that I'm wearing is called as the Kupya Chale. Kupya, which is the black robe that I'm wearing. The Chale is the red wrap around, around me. The robe also comes in white, green and brown. White, when we are visiting temples, that's what we wear. And the other time we wear men wear white robe is in their weddings. We wear the white robe at our weddings. The green robe, uh, we, we used to wear it when we were, when you used to go hunting. And the brown robe, when we did our agriculture related work. Kodawas, being a warrior clan or a warrior race, we've been experts in uh, guerrilla warfare during the uh, periods of the kings and we have participated in wars along with the Mysore kings with the uh, Lingaraja of uh, Madikeri, uh, the Haleri dynasty and also the friendly dynasties with, the, with these dynasties which is why we had a tax-free route up to Surat so those days, if a different dynasty had to cross by another dynasty, they had to pay the taxes, like how we pay, right? So we did not have taxes until Surat. That's how we got access to cotton, and that's how our robes came. Before that, we are uh, Kodugu was a forest, and what is we used to wear? What is available in the forest? You know, we used to we used to wear the animal skin and the creeper around it. Um, as a wraparound because of the climatical conditions which is extremely harsh and extremely cold so we had to safeguard ourselves which is why we use that and as and when time evolved and because we became the general subadars of uh, various dynasties armies uh, we were uh, uh, we, we would be there present at the darbars of the king so we had to be presentable at the king's darbar which is when the king gave us the black robe, which is ceremonial. Even today, we wear these in all happy occasions, such as the wedding, uh, the festivals, etc. We have weapons are a primary part of our lives as Kodawas. Being a warrior race, weapon would always have a highest significance. And the most significant weapon we have is the gun. The Kodawa race is the only community all across the world who can own a gun without a license. We don't need a license to own a gun. All we need is a no objection certificate from the district administration. If you do not have any police crime related uh, uh, records with, uh, against you, uh, you get your uh, NOC and we and there is no limit to the number of guns we own. We can, you, know, you can own a tutu, you can own a pistol, you can own a, uh, a 12 bore, basically which is uh, not commercial uh, because in India we are not allowed to wear, uh, own commercial guns. Apart from a gun, which is, uh, you know, one of the main part of Kodawa's life, starting from birth to death, when there's a new baby born, a boy baby born, we fire a shot in the air. And when, is, when there is a death in the family, we fire two shots in the air. And when there is any occasion, uh, it be our festivals, Puttari, we have Kailpod, we worship our gun. Without a gun, uh, a Kodwa does not have an identity. So gun plays an integral part of as Kodawas. Apart from the gun, we have two other weaponries. One is the Piche Kati, which is a small dragger which I am wearing. The other is the Odi Kati, which is the bigger machete. So the next dance performance is going to be 
called as kathi art which we shall perform using both the kathis which is the picha kathi and the odi kathi i would request my team to come and perform kathi art
So going by a little bit more information on Kodugu and Kodawas, as I already mentioned, we are a warrior uh, clan. We have various clans in ourselves. We call them the Wokkas. We all come from different Wokkas. Apart from being a warrior, being experts in guerrilla warfare, doing hunting, we are also farmers. So farming, paddy is our primary yield. Coffee, pepper, cardamom are our secondary yields. In the olden days, we used to follow the Patedara system, which is even followed till date. So Patedara is a head of a clan. There is land, a lot of agricultural land available, and there is family. We all are family, we living together. We, have, we are a close-knit community. And for that family, we have a Patedara, who is the decision maker. So now we have all the land, we do all the work. We get the harvest. And the harvest is in control of the Patedara. So he knows how, which kid has how many grandkids or how many sons. So that much of uh, ration he allocates to that family. The, it could be possible that that couple owns the least land but have the most population there and they would consume much more uh, of the ration. So this system is currently even being followed which is why our land records still run on the Patedara system, which is extremely hard for the administration to even understand or even bring it under one person's ownership because the Patedara keeps changing. If the Patedara dies, the next eldest person in the family becomes the Patedara. So that's a little bit about how our family runs. So the next performance is the Tali party. So the Tali Pata again is a, a song which we perform when we are with the nature. We are walking around, we see the tree, we see the sun, the moon, we see stars in the night, we have the tree. You might see a crab which is going, you might see an ant, or you might see a tiger or an elephant. So what we do is when we are walking around, whatever we see, we sing and we enjoy it. So, I would like my team to kindly come and perform the Thali part. Oh, God. 
team kodagu which is also a country in the older days called as kroda desha with panand kombu which means states and nupatanji nadu which are sub states so we call the term kombu why do we call the term kombu is in the olden days we did not have like we have the tapes and the geographical uh you know mapping uh, devices and location we d we didn't have any of those so how would we mark the territory is kombu is the horn you know the olden days we used the horns of animals to actually blow it as a trumpet so what we would do is we would we know the border we would stand there blow the horn so until when the sound would be heard until where the sound would be heard further that would be one kombu so our next point would be from where, till where this sound stopped so from there we again blow and here where it till where the hearing stops so that's how we termed it as pannerandu kombu which is 12 kombus 12 states that's how the borders were done but right, we've been giving you a lot of information we've been telling you you are a warrior clan we are a warrior clan but all you see is dance and songs we need to have some uh, action as well right all right so we have something called as the parya kali parya is a shield which we use to shield ourselves uh, and uh, the kali is a shielding game what you are getting shielded is from the beating the beating is from sticks So we have my team who is going to perform Parayakali. Welcome to you.